So first of all, how uh, how was Christmas? Uh, Christmas didn't get to really do a Christmas. Uh, I'll have to wait until after my fight to do my Christmas. Uh, my kids got to do theirs, but you know, I mean, and that's really all it boils down to is the kids. But you know, get to spend time with the kids and everything. My wife's done a good job keeping them sort of to themselves. Talk about that as a fighter and fighting during the holidays. I mean, uh, the sacrifice that you guys make. I mean, did you even get to see the kids on, or yeah, were you traveling? I, I, I got to see them, but uh, not much. Not much because I was cutting weight and doing everything else to get my weight down. Uh, so we didn't get to eat. You know, they didn't get to enjoy Christmas. You know, I sort of feel bad for them because they don't get to enjoy, you know, Thanksgiving, turkey, stuff like that. It's uh, not really in their their mind. Right. You know, they're like, we get it, but we don't get it. Um, <laughs> what are you doing special with them afterwards? Uh, we're just going to take a week and just go somewhere. Just get away from Texas and uh, probably go up to Branson. Nice. So what? So how is the weight? Obviously, that's it's a good. question everybody always asks. Yeah, it's good. How, how's the lead up to this fight entry? Because it seems a little different, uh, just with mentioning retirement and everything. Yeah, What's because you know, that? yeah, because I, you know, I'm tired of people Yo, asking. Hendrick, hablando of YouTube. Oh, uh, I'm just tired of people asking thirty thousand questions don't revolve around my fight. Okay, that's why. Because you know, here's the thing. Guess what? If I wasn't talking about, if I didn't mention retirement, what would y'all be doing right now? You'll be saying, well, what about GSP, or what about this person, or what about this person? I'm done with those questions. What ifs, I'm done with what ifs. I, I started coaching wrestling again, and it made me realize, what ifs? Who cares about what ifs? That's not in my control. December 30th is in my control. Neil Magny is in my control. Nothing else is. So do you feel like almost you're distracting yourself with all this? No, process? not me. No, you guys. You guys were always asking... The, the the not important questions how's the or, you know i get how's the weight i get how's training camp but then it just automatically goes to something else because somebody announced something does that make sense yeah. and this fight i've really just focused on neil magny and that's it so it's, i mean it's retirement once you hear that obviously that's something you think about is that actually something that you're actively thinking about could be could be I don't what, know. What you led, smile when you say that. Yeah, like there's a very coy way you say it. Like, what led you, I guess, to that? Ah, because my last two fights were crap. I know they're crap, and if I'm going to fight like that, then I might as well retire. There's no reason to be involved in a sport if I'm not going to go out there and fight to my best ability. I mean, when you but y'all don't get that. You see what I'm saying? Fans and, and reporters, they don't get that, you know. Ever since I was five, all I've done is competed against something, right? I've always had a goal. And then <clears throat> whenever you hit a point, there's a point in an athlete's life where it's just like, is it still worth it? We don't know. I don't know. could be this fight. It could be my wife. could be like, Johnny, you know what? That wasn't so bad. We can do another one. Could be the fact that my wife goes, you know what? That sucked. Christmas sucked. New Year sucked. Everything sucked. And, you know, you went out there, even though you won, I just didn't like you being gone. Guess what? My wife and kids mean more than the, the belt or UFC or anything else to me. So that's really where I'm at now, is that I'm, I'm more leaning to what my wife wants. With. No, I was just going to say that I can still train, though. She's allowing me to train. It's just how much can I train before she says, I need you home. Getting ready for this fight after you, the two losses and being so disappointed with those losses, was it a different mindset to prepare yourself mentally to, to really go after it on this fight? Yeah, yeah. I want to, you know, I, that, that, like I went back to Oklahoma State. I've been training my butt off. Man, I've been struggling. Uh, Man, it's just been a crappy, it's been a crappy camp. I haven't had one of those in a long time. So I'm sort of excited to say that I had a crappy camp. It was a hard camp. It sucked. I don't want to do another one. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that means that I'm ready for this fight. 
when you say crappy camp, it doesn't mean you're not physically prepared, you're not yes. mentally no, prepared. No, it just means that it just sucked. Crappy in a good way. It's a crappy in a good way. I mean, that, man, it's as grind as hard as this. And, yeah, I just can't wait until December 30th. I can't wait until tomorrow that I can, I can drink and eat back up, be fat and happy, and then go out there and get a W on, on Friday. Where are you sitting on weight right now? Oh, good. I'm good. I'm not gonna give my weight out, but I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty damn close. Let's just say that. Isn't it tough for you though? You have one foot out the door, kind of like to say, well, I may fight, I may not fight after this. You, it's tough mentally, isn't it? If you, if you're thinking about getting out. No. no. It just keeps me from having to deal with these kind of questions. That's why I mentioned retirement, so I don't have to answer these questions, guys. God, what's next? I don't care what's next. Okay? What, what do I got to do? What do I have to do on Friday? Answer that question. What do I got to do on Friday? Eat like a horse. No. What do I got to do on Friday? Win. I got to fight. Yeah. Who do I got to fight? Who? Who do I got to fight? Neil Magny. Neil Magny, hey, yeah. right? So nothing else matters. Now come and talk to me on Saturday, and I'll, uh, I'll answer those questions. You know what I mean? We're gonna, we're gonna, I want to start. I want the press to start doing, <clears throat> not shooting me past my fights. I, I get so caught up in what's next, this, 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 and this, and it sort of ruined me. It sort of got me to where I wasn't focused on the fight that I needed right now. Does that make sense? So that's why I'm sort of taking. That's why I said retirement. Because guess what? Now you guys can't ask me what's next. You got to be there Saturday. And you got to call me on Saturday and say, hey, are you still going to fight or are you not? Then we can talk about what's next, right? When you speak about this fight, it seems like you're speaking a lot about how you, the past <coughs> few fights and you haven't performed like you felt like you yes. should. I mean, when you, but when you watch those old fights, uh, you know, when you were champion and, and along that time period, what's, what's different now between then, like in terms of your style? Like what's actually doing what changed? I'm doing, doing what I'm doing. Saying, you know, I, yeah, the belt's always on my mind, but other than no Magni, nothing else. That's the way the press used to work. But now it's so caught up in, hey, what's this, 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 and this? They want to know five stages down the road. You know what I mean? And, 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 and you get caught up in that. You're like, oh, yeah, man, I know I can beat this guy. So I need to be focused on this and this and this and this. So that way, whenever you guys answer those questions, I can answer those questions in a good way, right? And I got, I so got caught up in not focusing on, hey, this person right here, you can't treat him lightly. You do that, he's going to beat you. Well, it's proved my last two fights. You know what I'm saying? Do and you, do you I, think you treated them lightly? No. No, I, I just didn't train like I should have. So technically, yes, I did treat him lightly. I, you know, it wasn't mentally or physically per, on purpose. But uh, just, you know, training all the time, doing this, doing that. Um, and... You know, sort of, you know, I'll, I'll probably say that I probably overlooked Stephen Thompson. You know, I figured I could get a hold of him. I did in the first minute. I got a hold of him. I was like, he, he you know, <clears throat> and then I was like, oh, this is going to be easy. And then all of a sudden he changed his tactics on me. And then it threw me for a loop. He ended up beating me. And then, you know, hey, you learn on those lessons. Okay. How do I stay focused on one person? By not allowing anybody else to take me off that one person. Do you think it, it's, it was the preparation or was it the mindset in going into that fight or, or have you had to, in a way, reinvent yourself a little bit? I uh, had to reinvent myself. I just, had to, I just had to make sure I stayed focused on what I needed to get done. And what I need to get done is, is get a W. That's it. And, 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 you know, that revolves around going to Oklahoma State and doing all those kind of things. And that was part of getting, getting your mind right, going back? Yeah, get, going, back to the, going back to the grind. The grind. you got to do the grind.